Hi, I'm Sam with Conveyor and Caster, and today we're going to grease some wheels. The first step in uh, greasing your casters is you're going to need some grease, a grease gun, a nozzle, and a grease rag. You can probably find all of these at your hardware store or just around your office. Next step, you're going to want to make sure that you have all of your safety gear. So gloves are always a necessity when greasing casters, and then if necessary, wear those safety goggles. So now what we'll do is we'll identify the different types of casters and the different grease points within each caster. So there are two types of bearings that are going to be in your caster. You have the sealed bearings, like a ball bearing here. These are maintenance free, so you don't have to uh, grease them or anything like that. And then we have our unsealed bearings, like a roller bearing here. These are the ones that we're gonna focus on today and the ones that we're gonna grease. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the caster and make sure it's free of all debris. So final portion, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grease the caster. There are three different pinpoints that you're gonna to wanna to grease. First one is usually going to be on the wheel with the Zerk fitting. If there's not a Zerk fitting on the caster, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to find the pinpoint on the axle on this side. Once you grease that, always check to see if there's a grease point on the swivel portion of the caster, and you'll grease that as well. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up the caster so it doesn't collect any excess dust or debris. Remember when you're greasing your casters, always remember what type of bearing that you have because it's really important in terms of how much grease you use or if you use grease at all. If you found this information helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe below. Conveyor and Caster. Total Warehouse Solutions.